Just showing the uh, locating really, the rear speaker. Uh, this is a Corolla Seeker Conquest hatchback or liftback. Uh, 1996 model but I'd say all the liftback ones are relatively similar. This is the first one I've actually ever tried to change the, um, the rear speaker and uh, so anyway I thought well it can't be that hard and then I found out that I was wrong it's actually really quite stupidly complicated and uh, I don't know you know I'd, I'd like to find the person who did it and hurt them because there's just no need for it to be that difficult so anyway th this side here shows it all intact and that's where the speaker is uh, under there that's uh, the magnet is under there and you think well this pops off you undo it and and that's all you need to do and that, that's the way it should have been designed but then we turn around here and sorry the sun's setting behind me uh, and basically there's your there's the speaker it is a I believe a 7x5 or something some weird um, size anyway um, but anyway, I'll get it I've got a tape measure somewhere so if I remember but anyway it's 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 on the internet anyway that's the best way look it up it's uh, that you you it's a it's a it's not a 6x9 it's actually smaller than that 7x5 or something right so that's where it is now the weird thing is you had to take I'll go back over here first of all you have to take the screw out here and then I think there's another one down the bottom let's see if I can get in there that's the uh, the D mounting there for that clips into the back of the seat oh, that's the other thing put your seats forward first and uh, or pull the um, pull the squab or the, the, the base of the seat up and then uh, just it's held in with clips and then just uh, lean the back seats forward and that gives you a bit more room because down the uh, down the bottom down here uh, there is there's another clip which you had to undo and once you pull the little the little cover off here so I'll walk around here I'm sorry this is I'm trying to work out what's going on here right this here that, that actually just pops out there's a um, you can get your fingers under it and pull it out and all that does there's another another uh, clip down here that you just prise out and, and pop it out on those little plastic uh, clips that all the car manufacturers love so much and pretty much go around and undoing and yeah clips and and screws and everything I think I ended up with took about six screws out from memory and about two or three clips and so what you end up with is that you can all this top part here is separate and so you can actually move that away and this bit here where the seat belt is that's it down that's it down there you can see it so all that's that part there that that bit there is the top of the speaker and you, you just sort of have to lie that down and get it out of the way and then you you find other bits and you eventually then you you come down in the back here where the uh, into the back of the uh, the luggage space and there's a little clip down in here under that's just a little thing for retaining a child seat but down here there's a, another clip you undo that and then that allows you to pull out uh, this part here that thing there is the other part of that clip that holds together and then you can you can lift it all away now prior to that you can see the top of this but you can't access the other the other side you can undo these two that's fine but I haven't actually taken it out yet and I apologize for that but that's I haven't actually got a new speaker to go in yet so when I do that I'm going to take this out but what it what it appears to be so I'm looking at the screen at the back of the camera here <coughs> you undo that bolt and there's another at least another one yeah there now once you undo those this actual frame should come off the frame holding the speaker now once that comes off I think that you can undo the other side of this because the problem is 
is that this is so close to the um, to this plastic shield that you cannot undo the other side of it and I'd, you can't even see how to undo it so that's the only way I can think is you actually have to un unbolt that, that whole frame and take it off, change the speaker plug the wiring back in, sort that out and then screw that back on and then with a bit of luck all this will clip back together again now whether that happens of course is going to be a a bit of voyage of uh, discovery for all of us because uh, I really don't know but anyway I couldn't find any other videos on YouTube about how, how, how to actually get to this stage so I thought I'd just do a quick one to uh, to give you an idea about how much drama there is involved in uh, in doing it and I, I, you know, I just cannot figure out why they why it's so difficult for them to uh, to do but anyway let's see uh, the yeah, you know, all the car manufacturers seem to have fun sticking things in weird places, and uh, that's just the way it is. All right, thank you.